are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the women's final at the U.S. Open that took place yesterday. Coco Goff, only 19 years old, guys, has now won the U.S. Open. I actually believe she is the youngest champion at the U.S. Open, I believe, since Serena Williams. I'm talking about either male or female. Well, we need to talk about what she actually did after she won. Now, Coco Goff is a Christian. And Coco Goff has talked about her Christian faith. When she won the tournament yesterday, she actually got down on her knees and prayed. It's on video, guys. It's on video. However, ESPN Sports Center, to be more specific there, actually put out a tweet saying that she was just soaking it all in. Well, that did not sit well with um, people on Etz as they commented on it. And also the great Tony Dungy. Yes, Super Bowl champion winning coach of the Colts. Former coach anyway. Hall of Famer too, by the way. Now we know that Coach Dungy, man, he is a devout Christian. And you know, the media has also came out and, and attacked him. You know why? Because he likes to hang out with Ron DeSantis and promote fathers. Yeah, that kind of thing. Remember that? He caught backlash from that. The mainstream media really doesn't like Tony Dungy that much because of his Christian faith and his conservative values. They don't like that. But Tony Dungy called them out, ESPN Sports Center yesterday, for calling it just soaking it in when it came to Coco Goff winning the U.S. Open. Don't worry, we got the clip. You guys are actually going to be able to see the clip. But also when Coco Goff is giving her interview with um, Mary Jo Fernandez, she even talks about God. The woman is clearly was clearly praying. She was praying. Let's read this, guys. Former NFL head coach and current NBC broadcaster Tony Dungy has been outspoken about his Christian faith for a long time. So when Dungy saw what he felt was ESPN trying to deflect from or possibly ignore tennis sensation Coco Goff praying after her U.S. Open win on Saturday, he responded on Twitter, which is actually now known as X. Dungy's disapproval was with a clip shared by the Sports Center Twitter account showing Goff on her knees on the sideline after beating Arana Sabal. Linka to win her first Grand Slam singles title. And this is what they actually put out here. Over here on um, Etz, Sports Center tweets out at Coco Goff took a moment to soak it all in after winning her first Grand Slam title. Now I'm going to play this clip here, guys, without sound because um, that's just background noise here. Look, she gets finishes her sitting down. She gets down. And guys, I grew up in church. I know exactly what praying looks like. When you're on your knees, your hands are clasped together like that. You're not soaking it in. You're praying. She is praying to her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But of course, you know, ESPN, uh, they can't actually do that. You know why? Because they're they're promoting um. Since they're actually part of the uh, the Walt Disney Company, you know, they have to promote um, transgenderism and all that other stuff. Yeah. But this young woman is clearly praying right there. Praying. And they probably didn't like that. But this is what uh, Tony Dungy actually said here. He tweets out, I hate to break this to you, Sports Center, but Coco Goff was not, quote, soaking it. All in at this moment. She was praying. She has been very open about her Christian faith in the past. It seems pretty obvious what she is doing here. Yeah, very, very obvious, guys. Like I said, she is praying. There's no question about that whatsoever. But of course, like I said, ESPN cannot promote praying unless you're actually praying at the woke altar. That's all it is. 
But it wasn't just Tony Dungy. The replies here, man, are going after ESPN Sports Center for this. Look at this here. The first tweet I can pull up right here is called Praying, You Heathens. Yeah. And this clip here I was talking about here with um, Mary Jo Fernandez and Coco Goff, she's talking about God right here in this clip after winning. Uh, she had lost at the uh, French Open, and she said that she doesn't um, pray to actually win, but she just prays, you know, to give it the best and give it her all. Listen to this. What does it mean to win your first Grand Slam title on home soil? Oh, my goodness. Uh... <sighs> it means so much to me. Um... I feel like I'm a little bit in shock in this moment. Um, you know, that French Open loss was a heartbreak for me. Um, but I realized, you know, God puts you through tribulations and trials, and this makes this moment even more sweeter than I can imagine. We saw you say a prayer, get on your knees. You have a lot of faith. How important. Look, even Mayor Joe Fernandez right there said, We saw you praying. She says that. Important has that been through this journey for you? Oh, it's been so important. Um, you know, I don't pray for results. I just ask that, you know, I get the strength to give it my all and whatever happens, happens. I'm so blessed in this life. So I'm just thankful for this moment. Like, I don't have any words for it, to be honest. What does it mean to win your... So you heard that right there, guys. You heard that right there. She is clearly talking about God being in her life. She was praying. Uh, but look here, Nets comment here. Soaking it all in. She was praying to her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly like I said. But look here, even an atheist right here says, I'm an atheist, but even I can tell she's praying here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a strange way to... um. You find out someone praying and thanking God for their win. Godless people, honestly. She's not soaking anything in. She is praying. That is probably her place of straight. Her place of uh, straight prayer words. What else here? That is not soaking it all in. That was a Thanksgiving prayer to God. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Coco Goff, congratulations. Only 19 years old. And now you are the champion at the U.S. Open, winning right here in your home country. Congratulations to you. But of course, you know, ESPN, you know, they can't um, they can't promote Christians. They can't do that. They don't want to do that. I mean, she's clearly praying right there. But oh, no, Let, we got to spin the narrative here. She, she's just soaking it in. You know what, guys, if you go to church and you pray or you pray at night, pray before you uh, eat. You're just soaking it in. That's it. You're not praying to God. You're not thanking God for your blessings or anything like that. You're just soaking it in. But uh, shout out to um, Tony Dungy for uh, calling out Sports Center, and shout out to the people on Etz for doing the same thing. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.